Don't you ever wish you were rich enough to have a home so isolated it took you hours or even days to get somewhere to buy groceries? Maybe you're more of the type to surround yourself with groups of people. Whichever you are, you'll be amazed at how incredibly remote some of these incredible homes are. Even if you're the most timid book lover who wants to permanently be isolated from the world. Let's check out the 10 most amazing isolated houses in the world. Amazing! Number 10. The Crystal Mill Historically remembered as the Sheep Mountain Mill, this remote and rundown building looks as if it's from a fairy tale story. Still sitting on top of the boulder that it was built on, a beautiful stream and forest background sets the mood for this tiny yet decrepit home. But it's not a home, it was a powerhouse built in 1892. Originally, it had a horizontal water wheel, which generated compressed air for miners in the nearby silver mines. Now a historic landmark, it has never had electricity and is only accessible for two months during the summer and fall. The road that leads you there are so harsh that you can only reach it if your vehicle has four-wheel drive. Once a center point for mining, it shut down after 25 years and has been left vacant since 1917. It wasn't until 1985 that this picturesque remote dream was added to the National Registry of Historic Places due to its unique location, original purpose, and overall beauty. Number 9. Cata de Pinedo Known locally as the Stone Castle, Casa do Pinedo is an incredibly small house built from four large boulders in beautiful Fafa, northern Portugal. In English, its name means House of the Rock, which is very clearly related to how the house sits. The boulder serves as the foundation of the home, as well as the entirety of the structure. The Flintstone-like boulder home took two years to complete, spanning from 1972 to 1974, and was created by an engineer that hailed from Guimarães. Initially, it was used as a holiday destination, but now it serves as a small museum, boasting the history of the rock and remote home. Like the Crystal Mill, it has no electricity, and since it's so unusual, it's experienced a steep rise in visitors. While the location of this build is quite remote, it's still located near a wind electricity farm, which makes it a bit odd that there's no electricity. However, it allows the engineer's original dream of isolation and peace to be kept. In fact, the site is so secretive that the engineer's name is rarely ever spoken of, if at often found. Number 8. La Rinconada Unlike the other examples in this video, the houses from this location are underwhelming and far from amazing. But what is amazing is where they're located. Not many people are brave enough to live in this isolated region, but somehow an entire civilization exists here. Known as the highest habitable settlement for humans, La Rinconada witnesses some of the harshest living conditions on planet Earth. Regionally known as an unregulated gold mine, as well as a home to more than 50,000 people, this settlement is located at the top of the Peruvian Andes. Most of the year, its population faces sub-zero temperatures. In fact, it's so high, resting at 16,700 feet above sea level, that it's common for habitants to be above the clouds at any given time. There is one thing higher than this settlement in the area, though, and that's the massive glacier named Sleeping Beauty that hovers just behind the town. There's no real road to the settlement, and you must brave a harsh mountainside that's covered in ice, rocks, and dirt. It can take quite a few days to even reach anywhere near the settlement. Because of this, it's very rarely visited by any tourists. There are no hospitals, no hotels, and very little government presence. So how do 50,000 people survive there and reproduce? Maybe the isolation is good for them, and a key reminder that I could use a little bit of that in life. It's no surprise that it's a poor town, and the economy relies on the gold mine that surrounds this region. Number 7. Just Enough Room Island, Canada Located in Canada, this little island is known as Just Enough Room Island, where a single house and a dream lies. Part of the Thousand Islands Archipelago in Canada, this little isolated oasis was purchased in the 1950s and has remained in the Sizeland family ever since. Used primarily as a holiday getaway, it ended up becoming a tourist trap that broke the quiet isolation and turned it into a site for not-so-local eyes. While it might not have been as quiet as they wanted, at least tourists couldn't get onto their land without virtually stepping into their home. The size of the island they placed their house on may have been looking out for them after all. As its name suggests, just enough room island just falls within the definition of a legal island. In order for an island to legally be an island that could be built upon, its size must be bigger than one square foot, and it has to be above water at all times. Furthermore, the island must contain at least one tree, just like it has. 
if it weren't for that tree. It would simply be a sandbar in the water. Number 6. Hermitage of San Columbano, Italy Have you ever looked at a mountainside and wish you lived there, away from the hustle and bustle of life? One monastery has you beat. Located in Trambolino, Italy, this monastery has many stories, including a legend where San Columbano himself killed a dragon at the site. For you Dungeons & Dragons lovers, this may be a site you want to cross off your bucket list. But for others, you may wish it was a hostel that provided warmth and comfort away from the busy city life. The building at this isolated location began in 753 and wasn't finished until 1319. In the ground next to the rock, the inspection date 753 was etched into the side. Once used by monks and hermits, the practice of hermitage was abolished in the 1700s leaving this remote dream to the rocks. It wasn't until 1996 that the location was restored and opened to the general public. Want to see an even quirkier house that's definitely created to get away from people? This house is so isolated that its real location is unknown, despite massive amounts of searching on my behalf. Netizens insist that it exists, and there are some great reasons for why those trees are arranged like that. Can you figure it out? I'll reveal it at the end of the video why those trees are planted in that formation. So drop a comment to guess why it is, and keep watching to find out if you were right. Number 5. Fogo Island Art, Newfoundland If minimalism is more your thing, this modern and sleek home on Fogo Island may be right up your alley. Commissioned by Todd Saunders, this building is a residency-based contemporary art venue for creatives like artists, filmmakers, and designers from around the world. Named The Long Studio, this sharp and sleek structure was built on stilts and overlooks the North Atlantic. While it may not have as robust of a history as others I've mentioned in this list, it sure is a sight to see that's not dangerous to walk on, unlike the other decrepit structures I've showed you. Number 4. Moon Hall Grenadines Much like the Hermitage Monastery, this next location was also built into some rocks, but is placed in a private community in the Grenadines. The Moon Hole House was created from volcanic substance from business owners in the 60s. It was initially private, until the Moon Hole Company flourished in the 1960s. The reason behind its name? The moon is sometimes visible through the beautiful archway of the volcanic rock. While it sounds like it's all an idea from a video game, the 19 home community surely exists on the island of Pequia and gets its power from solar energy. Number 3. Katski Pillar the Katski Pillar is a tall rock that is sure to catch the eye of anyone who travels through the town of Imereti in Georgia. While there's not a lot of natural foot traffic there, this tall rock and structure on top surely gets the locals talking. Inside the pillar are rooms for hermits, a wine cellar, and a curtain wall. At the base of this tall pillar is a church that was built by Simeon Stylites. Studies revealed the ruins were likely built in the 9th or 10th century, but they weren't discovered until 1944. Of course, there's a lot of religious activity that occurs around the old church, but now it's inaccessible due to the fragility of the old iron ladder. For all others, climb at your own risk. Number 2. Vestmanierish Archipelago, Iceland We've all seen memes and pictures mentioning this next house, and it's no secret why. The Vestmanierish Archipelago features a small area of land that is known as the Island of Elide. There you'll find a white cabin that sits mysteriously on this area of land. Once inhabited 300 years ago by a group of five families, these families left because of the difficulties of day-to-day -day life. Of course, there were rumors that the island was given to Bjork, but this simply isn't true. Now it acts as shelter for local hunters in the association and nothing more. Although, I do wish it was owned by someone that hated society, just so the memes make sense. Number 1. Hidden Hills Home Of course, when you're a celebrity, you want to get away from the media as much as possible especially when you're one of the most popular rap artists in the game. That's why a lot of celebrities choose to live in the Hidden Hills, a gated community providing them with peace and quiet. One such star who resides here on occasion is Drake, shooting to fame during his Degrassi days and becoming even more popular upon his release of sensual, loving songs. Drake often needs a gateway to clear his mind. While he may like to relax at his personal oasis, he has dubbed it the Yolo Estate for the incredible parties that have been thrown there as well as the 7,500 square feet of luxury living. In his oasis, he has a massive wine cellar, 25-seat theater, and a massage center within. And when he doesn't feel like relaxing inside, Drake can hop on outside and enjoy his very own waterfall attached to the pool with a grotto. Even though Drake seems like he's a relationship type of guy, he just can't commit to this gorgeous property. 
as the lifestyles of the rich and the famous keep him moving. For now, he rents it for a cool $45,000 a month, leaving its price tag at $9 million. What would you do if you owned a place like this? Relax in its peace and quiet, or throw lavish parties like Drake? Now back to that house hidden by the trees. The reason those trees were arranged like that was likely as a form of protection from the elements. They're meant to keep the dust away in drier locations, but they also do a good job of soundproofing and maintaining privacy. Either that, or they really hate their in-laws. Do you know the location of this house? And could you ever live so isolated from everyone else? Or are you attracted to the energy of others too much to separate yourself from the world? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.